My name is Jason Davidson. I am a tire manager with Era Motorsport. Basically, I manage everything that happens with the multiple sets of wheels and tires that we will work with throughout each event. We're here at Road America this weekend, which is affectionately known by most fans as America's National Park of Speed. It's an absolutely gorgeous facility all around. Um, there's sweeping trees, lots of hills, lots of elevation changes. It's such a great place for spectators. So it's over four miles. It's one of the fastest tracks in the entire world. So the fastest permanent track. There's a corner on the back straight called the Kink, which everybody wants to take fast. So the question really for this weekend is, is Ryan going flat in the kink? I guess we'll find out. I have been given a sheet by our engineer. This is today's sheet. So it's got every half hour, I'm gathering track temperature and air temperature. We're gathering that information so that we can get kind of a, a bit of a prediction on what to expect throughout the weekend. That's gonna change with cloud cover, but at least that gives us something we can go by. This is a right rear. We have sensor number. So that's the last four digits of the TPMS sensor inside of the wheel. We've got which corner it lives on, and we've got the team name information there. Uh, Michelin wants that because they see so many sets of wheels and tires throughout the weekend. It helps them keep track of whose wheels belong to who. And then this is just a copy of the same information. This is our fifth race of the year, so R05. This is our fourth set that we will use this weekend. And that information is out here so it's quickly and easily accessible. Everybody can see it while it's stacked up on pit lane. And that's what we use to keep track of which set's going on next. I'll use this TPMS reader tool to read the sensor, give me the temperature that is inside of the tire at this moment in time that the sensor's reading. I'll use that information as the temperature of the air to then set the cold pressure. Tire pressure gauge and pyrometer built into one. We use that to get uh, tire temperature and I'll also use it to get track temperature and air temperature as well. Motorsport has really loved Road America. It's been good to us. Our first time here, we came in third place. There was a lot of rain that year. And then two years ago and last year, we actually won this race. So they actually just repaved the surface here at Road America. So it's a little bit different than it has been in previous years. The season's definitely thrown us a lot of curveballs. So we've had some issues that were outside of our control, but the team, the morale has kept going up. Everybody's working harder and harder to chase after those wins. And I think that the rest of the season, hopefully, fingers crossed, is going to be a great one. This weekend, for instance, we have six sets that we're allocated to use for the entire weekend. We'll purge them with nitrogen. The main goal there is to try and get the humidity level as low as possible inside of the tire. Uh, tire temperature wise, it can get over 230 degrees sometimes. The moisture that's inside can turn to steam and affect the known ramp that we have for increase in pressure with increase in temperature. This is just a portable air tank for us. This is so I can make any slight increase in pressure adjustments while on pit lane or away from the nitrogen bottle that I've got yeah. set up here in the paddock. Michelin trucks where the mounting and balancing equipment are and the folks from Jackson Motorsport do all the mounting and balancing of the Michelin tires. Now these guys think I'm famous. Fancy. I brought my camera Oh nice. <laughs> Uh, this is that set we're gonna get mounted up. It's the one that I had you hold off initially on dismounting. Oh, uh, okay, just, okay. We're just throwing them back on. So, yeah. mountain balance. They're already stacked on their appropriate wheel.
back to the paddock. It's very nice. Shiny mat. Got my name on it. Very nice. Tastes good. Hmm. I think we're good. We uh, we finished last practice uh, P1 and uh, we had a good test here and obviously uh, we've had good race cars here for the last two years. So uh, yeah, we'll see how qualifying goes, but we, we feel pretty confident right now and I think we're uh, just trying really hard to uh, get that first one of the season. Hello. How are you guys? Thank you. Thanks a lot guys. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll hold them for you. Thank you. Yeah. We can do a driver from stationary, driver out, driver in, door closes in 18 seconds. So the driver changes the fastest part of the pit stop, if you do it right. Uh, the slowest part is fuel. Fuel is about 35 seconds. So you have to refuel? We have to refuel. We'll do, uh, we'll do what we call four stints, which is four fuel tanks of fuel during the race. Ready in session one and started session two on them as well. So the engineers would like tread depths remaining on this set. That'll give them an idea on where. This is our tread depth gauge. If we get down to a zero number, that's where we have no more of the actual traction compound. We're down to the construction compound of the tire. So on the side of the tire is a barcode. We have the E and the F. One is the harder compound, one is the softer compound. There's a little difference in the construction as well. So basically summer months and some of the higher load tracks that we go to, we'll run that higher load tire. And then for the last race of the year, we'll get back to that softer compound for Road Atlanta because it'll be much cooler at that point as well. So the uh, scraper is basically a heat gun with a framework and a blade. The heat being generated is being blown at the blade to heat it up, and it's also being blown at the tire as we're scraping it. And you really can't go too far. You could damage it if you put one of the corners of this too hard into the rubber, but other than that, it will automatically go down and finish its process at the tire's actual rubber and get rid of the picked up rubber. More critical for us on the tire side of things to scrape the front tires, the rear tires with the blip of the throttle spinning the tires on the way out of pit lane, it'll clear most of that off. All right, welcome to race day. Uh, our race starts at 10, so we've got three available sets to us once the race starts. The first one is a qualifying set. We'll start on those, and we'll go from there. Get that opened up over there. Final adjustments. Should be ready to go. Volume check, one, two, three. Yep, copy. And Doug, copy you too. Alright, Dwight. Start getting yourself ready. Pair up. Remember, you cannot overtake until the start finish line. Safety present. Ready. Great line, great line. After this stop, the tires that come off, I'll wipe down and put back on the wall. Got it, boss. All 
right, we just finished our last pit stop. This is the last set that came off of the car. Since we are allotted the three sets during the race, these will go back on the wall in case there's a puncture or a problem last in. From here on out, it's just run to the finish. Thank you guys for following along, learning a little bit about what's involved on the tire side of things here at Era Motorsport. Uh, I hope some of it was uh, informative and maybe a little bit entertaining at times. Either way, thanks for following along.